Today is the finals day of our fifth Raspberry Pi competition. We've had lots of entries from schools and clubs across the country. We've done the hard work of shortlisting these down and today we're looking at the nine best projects. It's a door system for blind deaf people. The Pi is connected to a mic bit. The mic bit sends a message to another mic bit in the blind deaf person's pocket. Thinking of the ideas was easier, it's just about trying to find a way to work it out. The teams have been fantastic. I mean, like, much more ambitious in their projects than I'd ever would have imagined. One of the other things that's also been interesting is seeing the teamwork. Groups of kids getting together and figuring out how they use each other's different skills, how that they can piece together uh, different activities into one overall coherent project. I think the, the thing that's impressed me most is the fact that they've taken the challenges and they've gone and done their research. So they've gone and had a look at really at what the issues are and how they can address that with some technology. It's been wonderful to see the different skills, there's the coders, there's the ideas people, and they've all kind of welded together to uh, actually get a project to judge. The MX station is a remote monitor that you can place into a carer's office for the elderly. The pendant is worn around an elderly person's neck and can detect whether the elderly person has fallen using a nine direction of freedom sensor. Innovation, more than ever, is running at the heart of every organisation. The world is changing so fast around us, everybody has to innovate to keep up. We are Team Pyro and our product is a learning based game for those children who are suffering with attention deficit disorders and it aims to be a fun and interactive experience to help them learn in the classroom. For me today is all about showcasing the creativity and innovation that children of today have basically just helping uh, children to create really interesting products. We have been hugely impressed with what you've all done. The passion and the commitment you've shown, you've made our judges' job really hard today. I'm always really excited to come to these awards uh, because I never quite know what I'm going to see. You have a way of looking at the world which is completely different to the way all of the adults look at things. We believe in you and your ideas and your ability to innovate. Okay, so the moment of truth. The winner is St Mary's School. We were like, we were shocked. Uh, it's I'm, I'm very, very not shocked. Not at school, is it? No, I was like, <laughs> Congratulations, Max. Well done, Max. Amazed that I want it. I and the other teams submitted some amazing things as well as mine, and uh, the judges must have had a really difficult decision. So, without any more ado, Tom, who will be taking the award for for this category? So, for their beautifully realised concept, it would be Pyrite. I think we're all really surprised and a bit shocked and yeah, we're really glad. It's, I mean, we put a lot of work into it. It's great to see it all pay off.